Shalom. Let us see our praises do to Yahu, Baha Hashem, Yahu Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is in regards to what's going on in uh, in in Ukraine. Um, there's a video I was watching this morning. It's called "The Deadliest Weapons in U.S." by Putin's men in Ukraine. Hypersonic missiles, Russia, Ukraine war. So we're living in this time of war. All right, we're we're living. We're not living in the times of peace. We're living in the times of war. And um, I'm gonna sh share this link in, in like in the in the description box. But we're in the time of war. We are living in that time of war. Um, this is all written. Um, I think Ezekiel thirties, Ezekiel thirty-eight. Let's get it. See where the scripture. Let's we'll see where the scriptures, where spirits gonna be leading. This is Revelation thirteen eleven, and that now that, and and that knowing the time that now is, is high t uh, high time to awake all asleep, for our salvation is nearer than we believe because, this that this whole war was going on in Ukraine, and stuff and Russia, is gonna escalate more. We see what's going on in Israel. You know where. Uh, the people in Israel want Benjamin Netanyahu out of that, out of the seat, right? Because, uh, uh, and ultimately, you know, like you people in the in that land, you guys aren't the real, the real uh, heirs of the land, all right? You know, you guys are uh, Im imposters for the most part. You know, even though, you know, like there's a lot of our people who scattered, who like who live in that region, but. These Edomites, man, you know, like this is gonna be your time of judgment, man. And that knowing that, know the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than we believe. So, this is not a time for us to be slumber, like to slumber, you know, to uh, procrastinate. You know, this is a time to build up in the spirit. You know, I gotta get a new phone. Or a new uh, thing because I have so much uh, desk, I have so much uh, data space on my, which is uh, stored on my phone. You know, I have to get a new phone so I could make more uh, videos. You know, the night is far spent. The day, it's a, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So we're supposed to be. You know, like we're supposed to follow in, you know, like the light. Like we're not supposed to be going into darkness, man. Into spiritual wickedness, man. You know, this is a time to like, put on the whole armor, man. Knowing who we are. You know, our, uh, knowing the scriptures. Knowing, uh, you know, health, you know. All that. You know, this is uh, Ezekiel. Uh, 38 There's uh, Ezekiel 38 And I started one And the word of the Lord came unto me saying So this is Ezekiel Alright The prophet of Ezekiel Alright Saying Son of man Set thy face against Gog The land of Magog The chief prince of Meshech and Tubal And prophesy against him all right, but we know that that land, you know, that land mass, you know, which be located throughout, um, like throughout so-called Russia, you know, like through those borders. Or right? if you go into, if you go and look, look on a biblical map, a Meshach and Tuba, you know, like you know, um, that's where the place, like basically, like this is where. Um, like this war is gonna kick off, all right, and um, and like this whole prophecy now is actually happening right now, right? Because the people in that land, 
now are uh, the Edomites, right? It's, it's already rewritten, right? Over, uh, over almost 3,000 years ago, man. And saying, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach, and Tubal. Now put hooks into thy, now put hooks and, and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thy, thee from, and I will bring thee for, bring thee forth, and all thine army horse, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers, shields, and all of them having sad handling swords. So we know that I will put thee back. So we know that. When you read about or you watch the uh, documentaries about like the Cuban Missile Crisis, you know you had uh, I think uh, the President John F. Kennedy. He was um, he, like he was basically fighting, you know, because um, after World War Two, basically like like that's when the whole um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki came about. And uh, basically, uh, we, like you had Russia, all right, which was known as the Soviet Union, like they like they came back, and uh, basically it wasn't that time, all right, because we're, now we're living in World War Three, we're approaching it because we see that as there's a bare bunch of violence, a whole bunch of uh, missiles, what they have, a whole bunch of technology, and and it has to be used, because this is the Lord's weapon, right? Uh, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, all right. So we know that Persia is very strong. Ethiopia, that they like they have a a big a big uh, uh they have a big alliance with uh, Russia, man. And Libya, we know that we know that Libya was very strong until the uh, uh, like until they killed Gaddafi. All of them with shield and helmets, you know. So we're in that time, man. So we gotta uh. Girl up our line, our loins, about with, with 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 this truth because it's getting real, man. So with that, um, I like to say I pray to do to you. How about Shimmy I was shy about Shimmy Kakwadash, the bunch of apostles of Great Muslim. Peace and blessings to the whole members. I like hopefully this video is edifying. Um, shalom.